What's up, YouTube? It is that time again where the Genshin Impact community find a heated discussion around Genshin Impact Spar Abyss usage rate. In particular, there is this really high upvoted Reddit post on the Genshin Impact subreddit right now, titled 3.1 NG Abyss Usage Rate, NG being the Chinese video crafting Reddit or just Chinese Reddit, I guess. And then um something that particularly drew people attention to were probably the fact that Kokomi has a 70% usage rate and Nilo has a 62% usage rate, which seems really, really high. And of course, as always, people are heated discussion around some people swore that usage rate reflect reality and the top characters are really really strong while other as always as we claim is that usage rate are not the most reliable metric out there um it has some relation but it doesn't have strong relation between character string and its usage since there are many bias along it but whatever that's not what we're going to talk about today i think we talked about that enough already if you don't understand why genshin impact usage rate is not a good way to measure character string which is the usual thing fear crafter was saying check out my previous video that I made a long time ago. It's probably pretty old, but it's probably still relevant. Basically, there it's just a flaw in the way the formula is calculated, which is ownership rate divided by usage rate, or rather the other way around. Usage rate over ownership rate, which is, doesn't really make sense. With that being said, when I first saw this picture, it wasn't the heated discussion that kind of got to me, but rather the data itself. When I first saw this picture, the first thing I thought was, this data looked a little abnormal. Some of these numbers look a little too high or maybe even too low on certain other characters. And so I decided to kind of investigate a little bit as a person or a free crafter who frequently visit the Chinese free crafting website or community or Reddit NGA. I was able to locate the source of the Bar Abyss usage rate myself and kind of digest it a little bit. And interestingly enough, were that the comment on this post were actually similar to my thought as well that people were questioning if these usage rate were correct, if they should be used or maybe a little bit manipulative. Um, noticeably, some of these comments that were pointed out these were like super super upvoted comment starting from one with the original creator that was there was a person who submitted 55 copy of the same data within all of those data they only include Zhongli, Lilu, and Kokomi are the character that they own on their account which is impossible as minimally they have to have character like Travelers, Kaya, Shangling as the four stars so it's not possible that they only own the five stars and then they have Lilu on their first half only and Zhongli on their second half only so in this case they have three characters and they're using only two characters. So this person is purposely skewing Kokomi usage rate down while increasing Zhongli and Lilo usage rate, which were manipulative. And 55 copy is a lot at the time of this was created or this was replied at the very least. I'm um, considering that this picture has a thousand sample size, which is not a lot to be honest, since there's a lot of player who play Genshin Impact, much more than a thousand. 55 would be more than 5%. So there some skill manipulative data but hey we don't really know if that was before or after it was deleted um it showed that there were people who were submitting manipulative data for what it's worth these data the, the way these data are collected are just through like a survey where you click which character you have and which character you don't have and which character you play i can kind of see that through this one i think this one yeah this one so oh this is not the submission but um Something like that. The other comment that was noticeable were these one as well that was also uploaded a lot. Why do I feel like the data have problem? Are there people who are messing with it? There's noticeable problems surrounding travelers. However, I feel like the ownership rate around Lilo and Kokomi were not correct as well. Which is exactly what my thought is when I first saw this picture. I just figured these usage rate look a little too high. I get that there is recency bias, but I still look a little too high. The gap between Johnny and Kaze seems a little abnormal as well well and i feel like if we keep doing submission like this where people just submit whatever character they have there's gonna be a problem because the most heated discussion around cn right now is not whether or not these usage rate reflect reality but actually rather if these usage rate have problem did the data have problem um some of these comments are referring like are people purposely skewing the usage rate i guess new way of pvping but hey speaking of recency biasy usually we always observe new characters having a little bit more bias in its usage rate um since generally speaking there's just recency bias -y. if you put it for the new characters then you're probably going to play it because if you put it for the new characters and then you choose not to play it that just doesn't really make sense so you pull for new characters and then you just put them in your teapot and not play them that's kind of weird right um, aside from that of course the most recent Genshin Impact Spark Abyss dramatically favorite Lilo with the Blessing of the Moon having being bloom related both the one before this as well as the current one the one before this increase your elemental mastery whenever you do a bloom and then this one decrease opponent elemental resistance whenever you do a bloom or dendro core so uh, both of these are hyper or bloom related reaction 
a blessing. And so they kind of favored Lilo a little bit. On top of the Spar Abyss lineup, kind of favored Lilo a little bit with the first half really emphasizing on AoE. However, the enemy spawn group did. So this just solved one of the biggest problems that we call about Lilo, which is not being able to bring a grouper in your party. But if the enemy spawn group did, then you don't really need a grouper. And that's one of the reason why potentially castle usage rate went down as well. Since you don't need a grouper on the first half and then on the second half is single target. So you just don't need to bring a grouper in general. Um, but hey, coming back to this usage rate, they actually included the data itself, which was what I ended up looking at. And I kind of raised some question as well. So there was some abnormality. At the current time of me reading this data and making this video, the amount of data that was submitted has went up to 2,667 by more than 2.6 times the original pictures. Something interesting to note was that for some reason, all of these characters have more than 100% ownership rate, including Amber, Shangling, Kali, Kaya, which were started characters, and then you have limited characters like Fisho, Ting Chiu, Bennett, Ling Guang, all having over 100% ownership rate, which is kind of weird since I don't know how we can own more than 100% of the characters. Uh, but hey, uh, where's the Traveler? Speaking of, oh, Traveler is a five stars, which is here. Also more than 100% ownership rate. Okay, so that's a little weird. Okay, but we keep going. Um, Something that kind of screamed out to me was how high these ownership rate really were. Noticeably for the five stars, Zhang Li being the second at 93% ownership rate, Kazu being at the third with 91%, and then dropping to 85 for Kaching and Mon. It is interesting to see how these two limited 5-star characters have much higher ownership rate than the standard 5-star characters since generally we expect standard characters to have higher ownership rate because you can get them off of 50-50 where limited banner you have to particularly pull for them but there's a chance that it might be accurate but it just looked weird to me. Um, Ryan and Jogan at 85 followed by Jean the Lukchichi and then Fenty 76 and then 70 70 70 70, 70. Um, In particular Kokomi actually have a 73% ownership rate and they don't have a 55% ownership rate. And these data looked a little too high to me as well. Considering that Lilo is a new fresh character, 55% ownership rate would imply every other person pulled it for Lilo, which despite CN having the name of whaling community, like generally Chinese people are more willing to spend money on gacha game and therefore they whale more often. I still find it hard to believe that every other person would own Lilo, but it's a chance that this is true. I'm not saying it's wrong for sure. It is weird like every other person would pull for Lilo as that would be a lot of people and despite her being really pretty having a really cool belly dance i found it hard to believe that that many people would pull for Lilo. speaking of cn whaling but commonly people ask me why the cn community favored character like Zhang Li, okomi and ryan and shogun much more aka the more comfort characters and that's because in their community by default they usually also pull for the signature weapon and sometimes or even most of the time constellation as well their video crafting are always done around having signature weapon which dramatically skill their dps up higher and with DPS not being a problem for them, they much more value comfort, which is why Zhang Li, Raiden, or Kokomi, which are these comfort characters that help you survive, in particular Raiden have infinite poise on her burst and just being easy to play, are much more popular over there compared to the western side, since they just have more powerful characters. Anyway, yeah, so some of these usage rate or ownership rate definitely look a lot too high to me. Basically, it means like every single person in CN just having to own every single character, or at least most of the characters, which, yeah, even though there are people who spend money on gacha game and well a lot i definitely find that a little abnormal maybe that is the norm i have no idea but it is weird to me and coming down to the actual usage rate itself at the very top we can see kokomi kasuya traveler lilo kali being at the very top which are the core team member of the lilo bloom team pretty much four than 30 percent usage rate for all of them but what is worth at the time of making this video i don't think this chart has changed much i did some brief calculation and it's probably the same around this chart but yeah it just looked a little too high to me that the data doesn't look weird especially considering within the same post there were another usage rate website that called out dramatically different performance so within this post there was another call out here that was talking about a different usage rate website called hutao bot i think hutao api and this website people were talking about how this website feels like you have a better calculation as you cannot self-submit data but rather it is relied on um, your uid and then it pulled the battle history from mihoyo website i think and then this usage rate website particularly speaking it has a like, really different results this picture have a sample size of 
5,484, so about 500 more than this picture. So I can notice dramatically different data than the one that was posted on Reddit. Noticeably, Lilo here is at a 34% usage rate, where here is a 62. So it's basically half or double, depending on which way you look at it. And this just scream really, really weird. After all, how can two unique usage rate collections have such huge disparity between the data? It just doesn't really make sense why this is the case. Um, And especially, again, around all of these comments that are kind of screaming, oh, are these usage rate really correct? Are people like purposely skewing for it? I just find it weird and have a lot of controversy around it. In fact, if we take a look at some other thing that's kind of interesting, is if we use the usage rate from another perspective, we can actually call a really different resource, which is one against why usage rate is not the most accurate thing. Oh, I couldn't find the data for the current abyss, so we're gonna use the last abyss as an example. Um, here is what the last abyss usage rate looked like from the same people who collected it. Here we can see pretty much regular stuff like castle at the top and a second and right and blah, 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 yada yada. Something I want to draw your attention to is Chow being at a 40% usage rate, being a pretty low usage, or not necessarily that low, but not the highest compared to these. And you would think Chow is not that strong as a character if you're just judging by usage rate, at least relative to some other character like Yaimiko or even Ayaka. However, when you actually look at this same data from a different angle, where this Chinese person were able to collect the data in terms of team appearance instead. So they used the exact same data, but just looked at it from a different angle. You would notice that international team were the most popular team by far at a 37% usage rate compared to Ryder right National, which was only at 25%. Um, here, this graph basically collected like this, where there's duos, trio, and then team. Starting with the most popular duo was Ben and Shangli, about a 57% usage rate. Most popular trio was Chai Ben at Shangling at 37% and then International was the most popular team by far at 37%. And then you have other team that was Ayaka with Shanha Kaza Kokomi at 34%, Raiden National at 25%, and then Tegnari with Yaimiko actually created a team here with Kaza to have 8% usage rate and then with Fischl to have 7% usage rate. Interestingly enough, as a trio, um, Yai, Tegnari, and Zhongli actually appear 30% of the time as a trio, which was quite interesting, I guess. So this kind of show you, if you look at the usage rate from a different perspective, you see a completely different pictures. Because if you look at this picture here, you'll think a character like Chao isn't that strong. He's not nearly at top at all. And while he does have usage rate, it's not anywhere higher than say Tegnari or Yai. But then you look at this picture, which was composed from the same data, you realize International was leading by far in terms of its usage rate as a team. And from here, you would think the otherwise. You would think Chao is a really, really strong character as his team, International, was just so dominant in the Genshin Impact Abyss. And coming back into this picture, you can see like International being at the top here as well. So kind of show you how these pictures just doesn't really tell the complete story. And now with kind of conspiracy or drama around the usage rate, it kind of made me question how reliable our usage rate. In fact, pretty much everyone in the CN community are kind of questioning if there's something wrong with the usage rate as well, rather than the discussion between, ah, if the usage rate is correct, these characters at the top, therefore they must be strong, something like that. So that's kind of what I wanted to bring up today because I feel like the abnormality around the current data is interesting to talk about. And since people don't include them in the original post on Reddit, nobody really talk about it so i figure i will make a video out of it to kind of shine light on behind the scene what's happening with the same data except on the cn side and let me know what you think about this in the comment below i guess and as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe and um i'll see you guys next time or maybe i'll give you an update